Hey there, Scorpios. It's Lori. I'm going to do your career and money reading today for the week. I hope you guys are all well. I have decided to make my channel all Libra and Scorpio. You guys are my two biggest fans. So since you're here, I'm going to give you readings every day. I'm going to do more and more just for my Scorpio and Libra Collective. So if you appreciate that, drop me a comment. Let me know that you're happy about that. All right, let's go ahead and get your career and money reading going here. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. If you are new here, welcome, welcome. Either way, I appreciate each and every one of you. Your overall energy coming into this week with career and money is changes, major changes happening here. You've got the Death card, you've got the Page of Swords, the Three of Wands, the Chariot, Five of Wands, Six of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, Six of Cups, again, there's that card, and Seven of Pentacles. Now, the first thing that I have noticed is that we have five, six, seven, eight, okay? But we also have six, six, seven, seven, okay? So these are major things here. Plus, you've got um, two major arcanas already on the table with the death card and the chariot, and like I said, changes. That's the major theme for this reading. Major, major changes. This could be financial changes, career changes. Let's go ahead and roll the zodiac die that I forgot to do. See what signs you may be dealing with. It could be Aries, Cancer, Gemini, Taurus, Aquarius, or Pisces. All right. So you're coming out of an, a brand new start here. And you're about to put the kibosh on it, is what I'm hearing. Well, let's get three cards for the outcome. Um, you're about to put the kibosh on it. You're not liking that direction. You want to go in a different direction. You're sending out a message to somebody. You're communicating that you have changed directions here and that you are moving full steam of heads. You do expect some sort of resistance to this, um, but you are hopeful that you can take and change um, people's minds about this. You can restore balance. You may feel like you have to offer them something up. And you're going to take a hard, fast look. You are really going to look closely at this situation to see what it is you can do to get most everybody on board here. You don't have to have everybody on board with this situation, but you want to alleviate people's minds Okay, you want to get as many people behind you on this as you possibly can. And I'm not seeing any difficulty in this. This looks like smooth sailing for you. You just, the biggest thing is that everybody thought they were going to be going in one direction, a new direction. And now you're saying, nope, oop, put the brakes on that. We are changing directions. Okay. Normally, the chariot has two sphinxes heading in different directions. Even though you are changing directions here, I see like a handshake between these two dragons. Okay, so the, the leaders of the chariot here are saying, yes, we have to go in a different direction. We definitely have to change direction on this, but we're going to do it together. We will make this happen. So this is also an agreement between the divine and yourself. Okay. Yes, you have a lot of energy here of being divinely guided. Absolutely. This is a good reading, guys. This is going to be a good week for a lot of you Scorpios, okay? This is going to be a really good week for a lot of you. This new direction you're heading in, it looks like it could be very, very um, easy for you guys to switch directions. Let's see what the um, financial ramifications of this might be. Can we get more clarification here of, say, the Page of Swords? What more can you tell us about the Page of Swords? Okay, oh boy, that's a bunch of cards. On the bottom of the deck, we've got the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Cups. Okay, so putting, and the Magician. Okay, oh my gosh. Okay. 
ouch, that was my arm. All right, so there is a lot going on here, but the main theme is that you've got a, a lot of burdens that you're about to put down and gain much abundance. You have everything you need to make this happen, okay? Let's see what's happening here. Queen of Pentacles, this always shows up as the boss. This always the person in charge, okay? Queen of Pentacles, she's the manipulator, okay? So she's the one that makes the decisions. I don't mean that she's manipulative. She's the one who pulls the strings. She's the one who um, says yay or nay, okay? Um, Five of Swords, I'm getting that there could be a little bit of... Uh, Somebody who's not very consistent is going to play their games again, is what I'm hearing. And there's the Knight of Pentacles, okay? So, oh, I see. So somebody that you know, okay, somebody is going to go to the the this person, the Queen of Pentacles here. And this is somebody that's not really to be trusted, okay? But your intuition is telling you that all you had to do is go in with the right offer, clearly state it, stay level-headed, and things will go in your favor. All right, I, I would like simple clarification of this. That was quite a message to have to pull out of there. Come on, guys. Shall I? I'm going to uh, just did this, but I'm going to do it again. I need clear, concise communication here, please. Okay, there we go. Not very strong. There we go. Okay. Let's get clear messages here. I'm feeling really angsty. Angsty. I don't know can't tell you what I'm trying to feel or <laughs> what I'm trying to feel okay let's get on with this we'll let that just kind of fizzle out on its own over there okay let's try to keep these messages as simple as possible please let's get clarification of the page of swords please I'm being told we could leave the reading just like this and you would understand it and it would make sense and you guys would be fine. Anybody out there want me to continue? I can't hear you. <laughs> I'm just being funny. Come on. You know I'm having fun with you. Let's, let's, come on. It's time to have some fun. Okay. Clarification of the Page of Swords. There we go. That's what I like to see. Just a couple of cards here. Okay. So, we have a couple of characters in here, okay? The King of Pentacles, and they are, this King of Pentacles, okay, is the finance, financial guy. Good with money. This could be you, Scorpio, okay? Um, but they're, they're the one that affects the world. So, I'm getting that you are sending out a message that we're changing directions, okay? The world. So you're ending something and starting a new cycle. And this is definitely your energy here as the King of Pentacles. Or you are reaching out to the person, the finance guy. You're going, the finance person, okay? The person who um, backs all the projects, okay? Who gets the funding for all the pro pro projects. All right, we've got a Queen of Wands. Very in and out passionate um, attitude here, okay? Ten of Swords, and then Happy Home, Happy Life, with the truth coming out. Page of Swords, watching. And then changing directions. Okay, so... There is, there's somebody here, okay? This is the second time now that I'm getting the energy that somebody who is not very consistent is going to go in and try to disrupt this project from moving forward, from keeping you from accomplishing your goals, okay? But if you just speak your truth, 
That's all you have to do. Speak your truth and keep an eye on this person and then move the chariot in the direction that you choose. Okay, this is going to work out just fine. All right, so I, I don't think you can get any more clear than that, okay? I mean, this is about somebody coming in and being sneaky, and I think you know exactly who this person might be, okay? All right, let's go ahead and get clarification of the Three of Wands here, please, for the Scorpio career and money. Can I get clarification here for the Scorpio career and money? I think I'm going to break this up and do just career, and then I'm going to do a money reading in the future. So look for that later in the week. Okay, guys? Let's get three clarification of the three of wands. Oh, yeah, you were very unhappy with what the original um, direction was. Okay? You were very, very dissatisfied with how that was, where that was going to take you. I mean, we got a skull here. You're like, yeah, that no. We got to put a kibosh on this because that just, after everything I've learned here, no, that's not going to work. Okay, so this is dissatisfaction. This is looking at things and saying, no, it's not going to work that way. So we have to go in a different direction. Yeah, you are definitely intuitive, creative, powerful. Know your stuff. You know your business is what I just heard from this. Okay, somebody's going to owe you an apology if they're not careful because you've got a victory coming. There is a victory here. There is definitely a victory heading your way. All right, let's clarify the chariot here, please. What can you tell us about the chariot for the Scorpio career reading, please? Got two cards again. Now we got that apology card. We've got the Ten of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, if you don't change direction, this, this situation is going to be painful and you're going to be left, um, oh my gosh, I'm hearing broke. This is going to break you. This is going to break the business. This is going to financially ruin you or your person if you do not change directions. Again, somebody is going to be apologizing Okay, if they do not get on board, somebody is going to be apologizing for staying in a situation that was not going to bring this company money. This could, this could actually be very detrimental. That's why you have to change directions here. Okay, clarification of the Five of Wands. Oh, excuse me, my nose was itching like crazy. I haven't had my nose itch like that in a long time. Don't they say you're going to kiss a fool? There is nobody in my life around me where I'm going to be kissing anybody. Nobody. <laughs> Fool or not, there's just nobody around. All right, let's get clarification of the Five of Wands. That's not entirely true either. I got people around me, but I ain't kissing none of them. I ain't doing it. Nope. Got no reason to. Okay, the Five of Wands leads to meeting your goals okay it's about trying to attain your goals here reaching your goals and the competition is saying hmm all right if we get on board we can achieve our goals okay yeah somebody's going to have to make judgment calls here everybody's going to have to they're going to have to take the blinders off and see that if they continue down the road that they were going down that it will not be the right way to go we have to turn the wheel of fortune in our favor okay our intuition is strong on this there was some things hidden about the other thing but you've been watching and looking and studying okay you've really you ho oh, You've really worked hard to bring everyone on board. That's what I'm getting from that. Okay? So, yeah. This is definitely... Um, everybody's going to get on board to work towards this goal. They see the importance of this. I don't think you're going to have a major hard time getting people on board either. Just maybe that one person. And here you are. Oh, that one again? <laughs> Okay, let's clarify the Six of Pentacles here. I do want to say that I do see you achieving your goals with us, with this new direction. 
Okay. Clarification of the Six of Pentacles, please. Whoa. No, no, no. Finish. Okay. Justice will be served. And look at this. This is how they fell out. This card came out first. The hanged man, okay, and the chariot. Yeah, you would have been stuck if you did not change directions. There would have been something keeping things off balance is what I'm hearing, okay? It, it would not be a good direction to have gone in. You definitely are change, choosing the right direction to go in in the future here. And justice will be served, okay? And the luck is on your side. These two tell me that this new direction you're heading in is the correct direction to go. Okay? Definitely. That's powerful. That is powerful. Yeah. New direction. See that? You made a decision. You're going in a different direction. The chariot. You're willing and balance. Okay? Temperance. Level. Okay, so what I'm hearing is that this may not be a get rich quick or this other project that you were going to take on that was supposed to be taking you in a new direction. That one may have looked like it was going to make you a bunch of money pretty quick, taking the company in a good direction quickly, but that's not the case something would have gone wrong that would have caused major heartbreak and financial distress. Um, so this direction may not appear to make you money quickly. It's going to be more of a steady growing, okay? But it is the right direction. There will be an initial, initial burst of income, okay? But it's going to just kind of keep going. It's just going to grow steadily, is what I'm hearing. It's not going to be a get-rich-quick scheme. The other one, now, after you look back at it, looks like a get-rich-quick scheme, okay? All right, I wasn't asking for clarification. I may or may not keep these. Okay, we've got the Ace of Wands. So an inspired, fresh start here, okay? A new, you have to take a leap of faith to go in the new direction. It's all about the choices we make. Okay, who we involve ourselves with, who we get in bed with. Some of you know exactly what I'm talking about there. Okay, that's a business term. Who are you in bed with? Be cautious. Only speak the truth when you need to speak. Okay, yeah, and I'm getting that this is right here over the Eight of Swords. Okay, so be careful. Who? Oh, yeah, I'm hearing the dissatisfaction with that person. You've really got to watch that person. That's what's going on there, okay? Watch this person. Look at this. The strength card and the wheel card again, going in the right direction. I just moved all these cards around. Teamwork is going to get it. Slow and steady is going to get it, okay? Yes, absolutely. Okay, let's do the Six of Cups. Clarification of the Six of Cups here, please. Is this a past person or is this a feeling of nostalgia? Is this a feeling of success or something from the past sparking? What does the Six of Cups mean for the Scorpio Collective? It could mean a lot of things here. King of Cups, okay. So somebody from your past or somebody that you've known a long time portrays themselves as a King of Cups, okay? This could be you. This could be your energy. You're, you're a water sign. You're a water energy. However, um, I'm hearing you're, you're, you are... Using your past experiences with people on an emotional level to keep yourself leveled up, okay? 
in control of your emotions. You like to have fun. You like to have people like you. But you also know that you can't be that way all the time. That there are going to be certain people that you have to be very, very strict with. Okay, I'll be surprised if we don't see the King of Swords or the Queen of Swords here pretty quick. All right, but there will be a steady progress here. I just moved all these cards. I'm telling you, you watched me do it. Go back and rewind it. You watched me move them. Okay. Let's go ahead and get... I, I am getting that this is you, that... Um, that you are going to use your past experience in dealing with people. Okay, you really do like to be liked. And there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. There is absolutely nothing wrong with that. Um, this just fell out, so I'm not going to keep it. But the Knight of Cups is about how you approach people. You have the Six of Pentacles here where um, you're offering somebody some sort of gift. And what I'm getting is, is that in order to appease that person that is going to resist, you may end up offering them some sort of token something, a day off if they just get on board. Um, you get to head up this part of it if you get on board. You're just, you know this person can do the work. This person is just a pain in the ass. Excuse me, I don't usually... Say it so bluntly. Um, yeah. So that's what you're going to have to do here. All right, let's go ahead and clarify. I do want to show you. <laughs> if you do that, you will have a wish fulfilled, okay? Yeah, this person. This person, all they want is what's what they want. That's all they want is what they want, okay? But you're willing to make the sacrifice to keep everybody happy so that everybody can be happy. So that you can have a sunshiny, joyful future. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. Oh, yeah. And the magician's on the bottom of the deck. All right. You do make the magic happen. And this is male or female. Just energy. Okay. If you're a female boss, you definitely got to step up as a man in certain businesses. Because they don't respect you if you don't come across with the man attitude. Anyways, look what's on the bottom of the deck. The Wheel of Fortune. Resting. Two of Cups. So you've got the lovers and the Two of Cups here. They're, they're, this is and the Hermit. The Sage person. Oh, with the moon. Yeah, you're seeing things that others are not seeing. Your intuition screams at you what's happening. You are very, very intuitive. Scorpio, some of you are massively intuitive okay seven of pentacles assessing your future assessing what you should trim out what you should focus on um and i see that you are being guided by the heavens you're taking divine advice okay you're using your intuition you're not letting the unknown freak you out because you know enough to trust yourself okay and you do have a good team that supports you all right yeah, absolutely. And your outcome is going to be the Ten of Cups here. This is going to be a very abundant, happy, joyful outcome for everyone involved. We have the sun shining on everyone. So even though we had a different sun card in this deck, there will be sun and a happy day and joy for everyone involved. Okay? And I'm getting strongly that it's because you made peace with this person. This I almost said it. Okay, I'm not going to say it. This person who really, really is a pain in your sitting area. <laughs> you made peace with them. Look at this. The Nine of Cups again. Okay. Eight of Cups and then the Sun. And I just moved these cards. Oh, my goodness. So that's telling you. That is the facts, ma'am or sir. Them's the facts. Yeah, and there's that person. All right, any final message here for the Scorpio Collective? And I see my camera is, why is it, is it not in the correct position? 16.9, I may have to flip this. Fun, fun. Okay, any final message here that you would like to share with the Scorpio Collective? 
justice. Justice will be served um, and compassion will be necessary. That's what I just heard. Okay. All right. Let's see what the outcome is going to be or what you may not see coming. Oh, look at this. The King of Swords, the Emperor, and the Knight of Pentacles. So you go in and you start off by saying, okay, guys, this is where we're headed. Okay. This is the, a new direction that we're going in. Let's let's see what we can do here. And you really boss up and you gather everyone around you and you make this happen and you lead the way. And everybody can see exactly what needs to be done, except for that one person. Remember, I said I'd be surprised if we didn't see the King of Swords or the Queen of Swords. Well, look, here's that person who has to be set straight. OK, so there you are. You're setting everything straight. You are the boss. You know what you're doing. Go do it. Trust in your team that is right there for you. This is an awesome message here. Scorpios, I feel like you deal with this person every time I, I do a reading. Yeah, I'm going to break up career and money. I'm going to do career, and then I'm going to do a money one for those who... Because I seem to be channeling in directly on um, a particular person, a particular business. Uh this just keeps coming out week after week, okay? So I think I will try to, uh, or a certain group of people, I guess I should say. And maybe I'll incorporate a different career focused strictly on non-employers, okay? So employees, and then maybe one just for business owners. Who knows? Let's see what we've got here. We've got protecting treasure, Okay, now that is about being divinely guided. That's exactly what this card means, is that um, you are always protected and divinely directed. Okay, and it says here, although this is a time of great risk, know that at a fundamental level, you are able to move forward safely and securely. The proverbial nest egg is safe and sound, no matter the fluctuations in the world. Guardian angels and other guides are whispering to you, making you aware of their protective presence. Okay? Your loyalty is an important theme right now. Nurture that which you hold dear. And those are your employees, the people around you. This is a good time to strengthen bonds of friendship and ensure their integrity. If you feel tested right now, <laughs> know that a true and loyal heart always achieves its aim. Take refuge under an angel's wing. You are not alone and have no need to fear. Embrace your courage. That, I mean, right there, that closes up and sums up the whole reading. Exactly what I was saying, okay? You are divinely protected and guided. Ride the wave. This is going to be an awesome time for you. Um, there's going to be ups and downs, just like with riding any wave, okay? Four and Four and one equals five. Five talks about changes. You're changing direction. You're gonna. You're good at being um, thinking on your feet, as they say. So if you need to change direction, you're good with that. Okay. Even minute changes, you're really good with. Encouragement. Yeah. You're. You're. The people around you are just gonna need a little encouragement. Okay. If you need some, hey, I'm telling you, you're getting all the encouragement from me and the divine right now. You've got it. You've got my backing. You've got my support. I, I can see how people just adore you, that they absolutely respect you, um, may not always love you. No, <laughs> no, you do come across as like the person that wants everybody to really like them. And they do. They truly, honestly do. Now, not everybody is going to feel that same way because everybody's different. Okay. And everything has to be balanced. But you're being told that we are encouraging you, the divine spirit, ancestors, guardian angels, we're all on your side. But also you may need to give out a little encouragement um, to those pains in the sitting area. Yeah, changing direction. You have, you see it coming. You see it coming before it happens. Hey, do you play, do you, do you work in the stock market? Because I could really use some good advice. I would take your advice any day. And no, I'm not serious right now because that would not be right, I don't think. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, making a choice. Yeah, once you make the decision, go forward. People will follow you. You may have to uh, fix the one person's 
you know, that attitude adjustment. But you're always capable of doing that. You know how this person works. You know what they need to get on board. And I don't know if I finished my statement earlier. They're a good worker. They're intelligent. They're more than capable. They're just a major pain in the butt. They think they're being smart. They think they're being suave. They think they're being um, intelligent. But really, it just comes across as somebody who's uh, too demanding, not really a team player. I mean, they get the work done. So you know who I'm talking about. You know who I'm talking about. All right. This card, Magical Map Shifter, says spirit orchestrates everyone's destiny. And that's true. They help. Once you start co-creating with spirit, then spirit will help to guide things. Okay? So keep that in mind. Five and two, seven, lucky seven again. Wheel of Fortune, twice. The Chariot, twice. Six of Cups, twice. I mean, you really, and then you've got the Lovers, the Fool, the Ten of Cups, the World, twice. Okay? You have got major, major arcana out here. Justice, twice. Strength, twice. This is incredible, Scorpio. All right. Give it a thumbs up. Claim it if it's your story. And tell me what you want in the comments. Would you like more readings? Would you like me to separate the career and the money? Okay? Let me know. Wishing you much peace.